The Average Camper's Adventures. Welcome back to The Average Camper's Adventures. On this episode, we're going to discuss our tow vehicle setup to pull our 2014 Jeep Wrangler all four down. This is one area you do not want to cut corners because the results can be devastating. Some of the parts that you'll need include a Blue Ox 2 inch drop hitch receiver and that is to adjust for the height difference between the motorhome and your tow vehicle. In our case we needed a 2 inch drop receiver. We also included the Blue Ox immobilizers. These are made to immobilize the drop hitch receiver so that there's no play in the connection. We chose the Blue Ox Aladdin tow bar because it was lighter weight. It handles about 7,500 pounds, although the Jeep is roughly about 4,200 pounds. You'll also need a Blue Ox tow bar kit, which includes wiring for the lights, a cover, the main wire that controls the brake lights, and also locks. Prior to being able to tow a vehicle, you'll need a base plate that has to be installed onto your vehicle. I was able to do this on my own. It took me about a half a day to complete the project. Okay, the first step for uh, hooking up a tow vehicle is, of course, so we're going to remove the cover and then uh, we're going to install the hitch adapters that go right onto the front of the tow plate. These adapters just simply push in, turn, and lock into place. Always make sure that you check that they are secure. Once you've done this, you need to open up the A-frame hitch and swing it down to the unlock position. And then extend the arms to meet up with the hitch adapters. Slide in your locking pins that comes with your kit and install the locks. You complete this on both sides and make sure you give it a little bit of a, a jiggle to be sure that it's secure. Okay, the next step is attach the cables. Now the one thing about this is you need to attach the cables so that they crisscross in the event that the hitch comes undone, it will fall in between the two and, and hold it up. Be sure to secure the rubber safety tabs on all sides. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is, is hook up the uh, cable for the lights and there'll be a plug on the tow vehicle and a plug uh, on the motorhome side. And one of the things that we we're concerned about is these plugs coming undone while going down the road so what we decided to do is use zip ties to secure the cables in place in case they dislodged. Alright and that's all you need to do to hook up your tow vehicle. Now we need to go ahead and move to the vehicle itself and install the Patriot brake system which we chose for our auxiliary brake system. Okay, what you're going to do is place the Patriot brake system on the floor. You're going to plug it into an outlet. This outlet needs to be hot all the time in the Jeep. You do not have to have the key in the ignition for this outlet. So once you've placed the Patriot system on the floor, you'll simply secure the brake clamp onto the brake pedal and you simply just push it down and it locks into place. Once you've completed that, you'll need to move the chair forward enough to where it's tight. And then turn the Patriot brake system on and press the setup and simply follow the directions on the screen. It will go back and forth 
three times to calibrate the system. Place the Jeep in park, put the four wheel drive in neutral, and that's it. You're ready to hit the road. Join us next time on The Average Camper's Adventures.